my video today, I'm going to talk about hidden treasures and how you can be able to pick up a dead man's fortune or a dead man's gift to add to yourself, to use it to manifest. So many people do not understand or believe that the greatest treasure of this earth lies in the burial ground. When they ask you where the greatest treasure of this earth lies, it is in the burial ground. And so many people will wonder how, how can it be? Yes. First and foremost, I want to ask you a question. Where do you normally get gold and silver? Where do you get diamonds? You get them in a very rough places, in a dilapidated places. These are places that in a normal ground, people will be afraid to go to those places. But that is where you get those things. Treasures. In the spirituality of human existence, the treasure of gifts and fortune lies in the burial ground. And I will explain to you how. When a man dies, somebody like Nelson Mandela, he dies with his gift. His gift of being the greatest leader on earth. Michael Jackson died with the gift of being the greatest musician on earth. A lot of people died with their gift of being the greatest in whatever area of specialization or probably field of professionalism that they came from. So because of this, when you go to the place that they are buried, the treasures, every of this threat and this gift, fortunes that was placed on their head is inside there, right inside there. That is why when you see the black magical people, when they want to perform some certain rituals, some dark power rituals, they go to burial ground. Because what they go to burial ground to do is not like burial ground is the only place that they can perform all these rituals, but because the greatest treasure on earth lies in the burial ground. The talent of people who are dead, who can no longer use this talent is lying right there. So what they do is they go there to extract those talents, extract those treasures, and give it to another person to use. Some people who are supposed to probably be president of a country, one way or the other, they died. And when they die, they die with these treasures because they have not become what they are supposed to become. So at the end of the day, what happens? The treasure still lies inside the burial ground. So what people do is that they go there to extract it. But it is something very, very hard to do because if you don't have the mind, you cannot do it. You have to sleep in the burial ground for a maximum of three days and you can actually demand for the talent, the potential, the gift of any of the dead man that he could not be able to fulfill on earth. He died and left it and now nobody is to use it. Most of the people that people claim, they said they went to do this, they went to do that. That is just what they did. It's a, it's a different ritual system that is very easy but very difficult because a lot of people might not have the mind to do it. Why some people have the mind to do it? You can go and take up the, the talent of Michael Jackson. There is one certain actor in the United States. Every 40 something or 50 years, the person who plays that role dies and get buried and another person emerge and bear the same name of that person. That is just the ritual process that has been taking place. When the person take up this talent and use it to a certain time, they have given that time for the person to last with this particular potential. They said, okay, you're going to use this for just 50 years. When you get to 50 years, you die. And then another person comes to pick up this potential again and stand in the shoe of this person who just died and continue from there. These are spiritual things, not physical things. It is only those who understand spirituality that understand